Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about a B250 motherboard where a couple of GPUs were not loading based on the PSU. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking to buy some GPUs, we have a data sheet there, a Excel spreadsheet, or if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. Alright, so we got a B250 motherboard that's just glitching out. I'll show you guys here. It's right here at the top. So this motherboard was, for some reason, started reporting not all GPUs are being found. So you plug in, we plug in our monitor there, right there, and it's showing uh, that the motherboard basically doesn't want to load. If I unplug some of these PCI Express USB slots there, then it loads. So the problem all started from these two PSUs where if I unplug two of them, it loads, but it doesn't load if I have this PSU on. So I have to turn this guy off, turn this, leave this guy on, unplug two of those, and then it boots into BIOS. This one is just fine, so I, if I turn these both off, then leave this guy on, it would still boot into BIOS, it's fine. So no problems on these four GPUs. One, two, three, four, these are fine. Problem is here. If I unplug one from here, like I say, if I turn this one fully off, unplug one, it doesn't load. Unplug two, it loads. If I turn this guy off, turn this one on, it doesn't load. If I unplug one, it doesn't load. If I unplug two, then it loads. So there's a problem in these sections, these subsections. You see right there, this section, this row one, two, and then three, four, whatever those rows are. That section, this section would not load, and this section would not load. They would only load if you have three on there. So we tried everything. We tried all possible scenarios. We tried, we, we checked the car, we checked the power. Um, we uh, blew out all the PCI uh, Express slots with our air compressor there. We blew them all out. We checked the rises. We checked, uh, checked everything. It still wouldn't load. Um, the only way it loads, again, if I unplug two PCI Express, so basically two GPUs from each section two from this section, two from that section, then it loads up just fine. Then we got into Windows, <laughs> got into Windows, thought maybe it's a driver. So we updated the driver to the newest one. Then we tried uh, doing a uh, like special software for driver updates, not just up updating the NVIDIA driver. We tried to look for any drivers that might have an issue. And again, no problems at all. It loads just fine um, if you do not plug in those ports. So the last thing we thought to do was to do a USB BIOS update. Now we didn't have a USB here, someone took it. So I had to drive to our other location. I also grabbed a B250 motherboard just in case that B250 motherboard is broken. So this is a spare I got. You see it's all set up, ready to go. It's got our fan, our CPU, the RAM stick. It's all ready to go. And I thought maybe that motherboard is dead. But it's actually working now. So what we ended up doing was trying our last ditch effort and we just ran BIOS update on it. It's already had the newest BIOS on the motherboard. And so we thought maybe it was a corrupted, some kind of corruption in the BIOS or something like that. It's very, very unlikely, but I thought might as well run it. Even though it had the newest BIOS and I was updating it or just kind of like reflashing it with the same BIOS that was on there before. After reflashing it, it booted up just fine. These two have all of their ports, all of their GPUs on for both of these power supplies. Then I got into Windows, which was great because before it wouldn't boot into Windows from that issue. But then I got into Windows. And now I turned them on and they're mining away. You can see them here spinning. They're all spinning away, all mining, nice and warm. So everything's great. So if you guys have a B250 and you have an issue like that, I mean, try reflashing the BIOS. That was the last ditch thing I wanted to do because I thought it wouldn't work, but I thought might as well do it. Who knows, maybe it'll work, and it did. So it must have been some kind of glitch in the BIOS. And I got this spare. I'm just gonna keep this spare here. I don't wanna take it from this location because you know maybe that motherboard will have the same problem in the, in the next couple of days again. Maybe it is a bad motherboard, who knows? So I'm gonna keep this spare here. 
and I'll be ready to replace it if at any time in the future that same exact rig there at the top has the same problem again and then I'll just replace the motherboard. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. I wanted to share with you guys this information. It's, it's a very um, kind of niche, niche information. You know, anyone that has problems with their motherboard, it probably applies to other motherboards, most likely. You know, we switched over to using the Q270s from now on uh, because I don't have to do that power sharing and different, you know, sections of the motherboard. I can just plug in any uh, GPU into any slot without having to differentiate. Um, so that's all good to go. Um, and then also uh, this, this rig right now, you can see it's off. I'm actually working on this one as well because uh, this GPU right here would not boot up. So I'm going to fix him, see what's wrong with him. But other than that, I mean, everything is working great at this farm. Just got to fix these two little locations here. And that's it. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU mining farm such as this one. It's fully loaded. All the power is being used. It's uh, running at 480, step down to 240s. Um, so it's 480 at 100 amps, and then step down to 240s. This is how many rigs you can run here. Almost all of these are 14 GPU rigs. All of them at 3080s. Uh, there's some 3090s here, a couple of them, and some TIs, but most of them are 3080s. All right, well, that's going to be it. And until next time, bye.